okay so here is the dashboard so before that let me first uh, show you how uh, a user can log in okay so uh, when a user basically comes to the uh, home page of the site then they can find this login option here okay so click on this login you will automatically uh, redirected uh, to the dashboard if you have already login okay as you as you uh, see we have already login so let me first log out it and then you will uh, find this okay then you can easily log in it here okay so here is the left side as you can see uh, there are uh, a lot of options regarding upgrade the plan top of the credit for the current month okay and the other services what we are actually offering in the agency okay and uh, again there is a epic one to help and contact option and knowledge base option okay so by which user can get help from this okay and there is a last one uh, that is log out okay so on the top of the uh, dashboard you can find the notification section uh, that means actually uh, when uh, when there is any problem or anything like that uh, going on or any new feature uh, is coming with so that they can user can be notified by here okay and also on the on the right side of the top corner and, and they will find the option to change uh, password and also a, a option to log out okay so on the body section a uh, user can uh, also uh, check their uh, current active status and also check their current active plan and the expires of the plan if they uh, if they are uh, using any yearly plan they can yeah, find it here and then they can renew it here okay or they can also upgrade the plan from here okay so uh, if you scroll it uh, a little bit down then you will find a story remaining and that means a credit uh, to clear you uh, basically uh, it takes one credit uh, for publishing one successful story uh, in your website so then i will find the option which is the first step for a new user to link your wordpress so let's first click on this uh, let me log in it again okay so uh, once you log in it uh, you will uh, click on this link your website basically it is the first step uh, in order to uh, publish your scrapped web study okay so for this you have to uh, put the uh, url uh, site url and uh, as well as with the wordpress id password uh, and here is the wordpress uh, user id password can be editor or can be admin or can be author account okay so another uh, last section is enter your logo url if uh, there is a logo in uh, in the website they can uh, copy the image url and paste it here okay like this okay so for now uh, i am leaving it okay next uh, uh, there is option to add adsense basically if the if the site is associated with the active adsense account then they can put the publisher id and then uh, they can put the ads load code here okay uh, currently it has uh, no adsense so let me select no and click on link web so once you click on the link web it will uh, be linked here and the username and password will be hidden due to the end-to-end -end encrypted server okay and also there is a uh, the user can also delete this if he if he uh, if you don't uh, does not um, want to link this okay uh, or a user can also um, uh, link multiple websites like in the uh, um, enterprise plan or agency plan so uh, so for now uh, let's go back to the dashboard and then uh, you will find two options basically one is new scrapper version 4.0 and another one is keyword to story so for now uh, we will uh, uh, basically check the new scrapper version 4.0 then we will be uh, we will gonna uh, check this keyword to story okay uh, so let me click on the new scrapper so new scrapper uh, version 4.0 uh, is all about uh, a, a more enhanced ar powered uh, scrapper actually so here uh, when you click on the new scrapper you will find two options basically to select bulk story or single story so before selecting this uh, let uh, let me tell you a little bit about bulk story what is a bulk story and what is a single story so basically as, uh, here is the example site hindustantimes.com as for example okay so uh, as you can see this is a uh, web story for bulk story because uh, the, on this page uh, you can find a lot of web stories basically okay so if you click on any uh, uh, any one of the web story and open in another web tab then you will find this a single story basically so it is a, as you uh, can see it is a single story having a lot of uh, slides or images so you can uh, uh, find the uh, single story value here okay on the uh, browser section okay so for now uh, let's uh, clear back to the dashboard 
here okay so click on the single story and we will uh, use a you we will try to scrap this story for now okay so let me paste it come uh, quickly okay then how many story slides you uh, you would like to scrap basically uh, it's uh, asking us uh, there are currently uh, on the short side basically uh, you will find a lot of slides basically many slides available in the source side so in uh, if you want a, a costume number of slides to be scrapped then uh, you can select it here okay for example uh, if there is a 16 or uh, more than 15 or anything like that then you can uh, easily uh, scrap a, a a costume number of slides for now let's select the seven okay next swipe up link so it is it is basically asking us to put a uh, url or link uh, from uh, to which uh, our uh, the users will be gonna redirected after visiting the story basically and there will be a city button on the last of the slide of the story okay so let me put a random link here then put the city action text uh, call to action text basically learn more or a link something like that okay or buy now something for e-commerce uh, uh, site uh, owners okay and the next option is basically uh remove text from story if there is any uh, irrelevant uh, uh, word uh, available in here then in, they can uh, uh, easily remove it for, for now i am leaving it as it is okay so next uh, there is the option to create a category you can select the uh, previous category created if any or you can create a new category here, okay and uh, then uh, text color basically uh, you can customize here so basically uh, if you select any text color for now i am selecting as, as yellow and background is black okay and yeah, uh, background opacity um, uh, i'm choosing it as 100 percent for better visibility and uh, last one uh, is a uh, next one is a silver border width the text border width basically i'm as, uh, it's asking about the, this uh, uh, border width okay text border width not about the story border width okay so for now uh, let it be uh your border width uh, i'm talking about yeah uh, here zero or one uh, let it be by default one okay you can also select the uh, any stylish uh, border for now let it be solid or you can select dashed okay or anything you like okay uh, next which plugin by default currently oh, the tool supports only one plugin that is worked by plugin uh, google sorry uh, google okay and uh, next one uh, next option is asking us to uh, basically uh, whether you want to translate the contents uh, as you can see the contents on the source side is currently on the uh, in the english language and if the if you want to uh, uh, translate those contents in any other language you can select it here okay so for now uh, let it be english next uh, next option is a selected website basically it is all about asking you whether uh, on which website you want to publish if you have a multiple link to website uh, uh, on this uh, with this tool then you can select it uh, exactly okay uh, for, for now it has uh, only one set so by default it is selected next uh, export type select direct post and click it publish or draft status okay so uh, for now let it be published then uh, you will also uh, find uh, last one option that is clear if you want to clear this uh, form in a single click then uh, you can clear it okay for now let's start the magic <clears throat> okay so once cl you click down on, on the start magic then uh, the scrapper, scrapper will uh, start scrapping and you can also uh, it is uh, showing us a notification by uh, by saying that scrapping has started and you can continue scrapping that means you can uh, again set up this scrapper and scrap another uh, story okay but if you scroll down uh, a little bit more then you will find in the bottom section that there is a scrapper text table that means uh, um, in this scrapper text, uh, text uh, table you will find a, a task id and we, as well as you can see a status of the uh, that id and uh, you can see the uh, the desired or target website you know, where you are uh, you are going uh, where this story will be going um, will be going to publish right and there is also option to uh, stop so that this tax id can be aborted so uh, the question is actually uh, how to check the real status whether this uh, uh, scrapping actually going on or not so for that you need to go back through the uh, respective uh, site uh, wordpress dashboard then go back to the uh, go to the media library section and you will uh, definitely find some images are coming if everything is going right with the website for example if the uh, ips are not blocked by the website hosting server then the images will be getting uploaded here and keep refreshing this page and uh, every every images will come here and will be shown here okay uh, with the date and time uh, exactly okay 
so for now i think and the, uh, the story has been published uh, if you check the yeah the status showing as published so let's check the uh, story first so for uh, to check the story you have to, you must have uh, you must have a plugin and that is web stories by plugin on google uh, so you need to install and activate it it is completely free you can find it here uh, from plugin section okay so i have already done that uh, so for now uh, let me go back to the all story section then you will find this here the latest one okay let me view it okay as you can see we have selected as a uh, yellow uh, text colors color uh, with a background black background and the uh, dash uh, dash border style okay so and one okay border with keep it uh, kept it with one okay so these things are uh, already done with the tool so as you can see also we have selected uh, the image quality you can see uh, uh, more um, beautiful and high quality and also the in the last uh, slides you can find the city button on which we have linked by <coughs> a random website okay that's already been done by the tool so it's all about uh, uh, it's all about this uh, new scrapper version of uh, 4.0 so let's back to the, the dashboard and we will check it uh, the keyword to story section okay so uh, actually uh, in the in the um, story uh, new scrapper version 4.0 there is uh, there was a little bit odd or um, little bit time uh, can be a uh, time uh, time costing and uh, that means uh, you, uh, you need to find a, a short story for scrapping a new scrapper but in in the keyword to story you just put a keyword and it will uh, automatically scrap the story from any um, uh, websites available on the google okay so for example let's say uh, we have already added some example uh, let's say uh, in let uh, select a, uh, a, a one keyword that is the city okay then uh, you have to say, uh, set up this as similar as the new scrapper version 4.0 uh, like say yeah, yeah and you have to actually uh, approximately uh, uh, select uh, approximately select a story uh, slides here so no need to worry about that uh, you can uh, again put the swipe up link learn more okay category name in general okay and you can also customize the text here okay uh, next uh, let it be solid uh, everything is uh, let's see here the hindi okay let's see okay direct post publish or you can say draft so let's click on the start magic so when you click on the start magic it will be same uh shown uh on the uh, dashboard uh, showing that scrapping has started you can continue scrapping that means you can again uh set up the scrapper for any other keyword okay and if you scroll down a little bit uh to the bottom then you will find the uh website where this uh, website uh, of this id will be published and the status as well as you can see the status of the uh, id and also you will find the option to stop uh, this uh, id particularly okay so to check the real status of this uh, scrapping then uh, you need to go back to your wordpress dashboard then uh, go to the uh, media section and library then you will find your uh, all images that are and that is being uh, actually that are uh, being actually getting uploaded so yeah yeah here is the images so let me uh, refresh it okay so uh, it's showing the uh, story has been already published yeah uh, as you can see the status is showing published also you, you will find uh, get a email notification alert uh, to a registered uh, tool account uh, email id okay when it is uh, published or uh, if it is uh, or if it is uh, getting failed okay so let me uh, first uh, go back to the world story section again then you will as we have as uh, we selected as draft so it is currently draft so to uh, to make it publish you need to actually a quick edit it and then uh, here you can select this uh, category of, uh, again by the way uh, and then uh, you have to select the uh, change the status as published then click on update okay then you can view it as normal so as we, uh, as we, uh, we set the set up the uh, background as white and the text uh, as red color you can find it here okay and the um, border uh, i think that matched uh, with the background color as it by default that uh, the border white color is by default white so uh you can see the image quality here okay yeah that's fine and uh, at the last of the story you will find the city button okay the image actually currently uh, not loading uh, due to my uh, low or bad internet connectivity so apologize for that okay 
so guys uh, um, i have shown on the whole total uh, dashboard section how how this works and how a new user can set up a, a link here on wordpress site with this link wordpress section and then uh, they can use the new scrapper version 4.0 as well as they can also use keyword to story so uh, and in the dashboard section you will find another two options the, there is uh, a old scrapper basically and it is currently shut down and we will replace this old scrapper section with a new uh, add-on tool okay in the upcoming version 5.0 and uh, also there is a right in uh, in the right section you will find the option to direct post uh, records uh, it's basically the history where uh, the you know stories basically getting scrapped those source uh, you will find those scrapped web that means the source site and also you will find your own website or uh, where the website is getting um, uh, just got published okay and the date and the timestamp and the number of story count okay that's all about this story uh, direct post records okay so last one uh, but not least one uh, basically there is a last option uh, in the bottom that is the for applet section applet program so you can join the applet and also you can view the uh, uh, dashboard here so uh, i'm not gonna uh, no view i'm not gonna um, show you this section for now uh, so it's all about uh, the story scrapper uh, dashboard walkthrough video guys so i hope uh, you like it and uh, uh, please uh, keep using it happy scrapping thank you